I think it is destroying and will destroy college athletics. I firmly believe that. Young individuals with money are only gonna make foolish mistakes. Like, trust me, I, even if you get in the NFL, you're still a young individual with money. You make foolish mistakes. So I can only imagine 18, 19, 20, 21 year old. You're an amateur athlete. Right. You shouldn't be making a million dollars. Prime time, Deion. Deion Sanders took to Twitter, took to TikTok, actually. Uh, and uh, it happen he's nowadays. got thoughts on NIL, name, image, like this, the direction of college football. Here it is. NCAA, you got a little problem. Let me explain. See, with the NILs, which really ain't NIL because ain't no name, image, and likeness. It's just pay-per-view right now. That's what they're doing to the big boys. Little boys, we can't compete with that. But anyway, you got a problem. See, when you start paying athletes like they're professionals, you get athletes acting like they're professionals. And you don't have staffs large enough and equipped enough to handle a young man with money. Let me go deeper. Handle a young man that's making more money than some of the coaches on staff. You got a real problem. So I suggest to you to allow college teams to hire more qualified men, qualified, that could handle these young men that's getting this money. So that's Deion Sanders, and there are a couple of different levels there. Let yeah. me just first break it down for you as far as I'm concerned. Number one, schools like Jackson State University, yeah. uh, Eastern Michigan University, whatever, Mac, uh, since it, you, unless you're going to pay these kids, you can't compete. So there's only a number of schools that can TJ actually. TJ Lane came out and said they're pulling together money at Eastern exactly, Michigan. But that's, well, yeah, sure, but that's how you compete, I guess. Yeah. You, you got to pay these kids. But that's um, going to run out on number one Number two, <laughs> NIL, name, image, like these kids aren't getting paid for NIL. They're getting paid to play. That's the second thing. And three, these kids are ill-equipped to handle all that money. They are. Um, and they're ill-equipped to, to be making more money than some of the assistants on the staff as well. Yeah. Most of the assistants on the staff. There are guys at Michigan right now making more than Ron Bellamy. So, <laughs> you ain't lying about that. You ain't lying about you that. Know? So, when I first thought, you know, when everybody said, hey, pay the players, should the, play should the players be paid? Of course. Hell yeah. I'm a former player. Hell yeah, we should be paid. Like, all the money that we bring into the institution, and I know it's not just, you know, one player or two players, but everybody should be paid just bringing in money. But I thought it was going to go differently. What I thought was one of two things. I thought there would be a cap on what an individual could make per year. Like, I thought that cap would be something around the lines of a million dollars. I thought there would be like a million dollar cap per year, which still to would to, 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 to still would, still would, too much. Yeah, it's still too much. So it's still with Deion is saying that is too much because young individuals with money are only going to make foolish mistakes. Like trust me, I even if you get in the NFL, you're still a young individual with money. You make foolish mistakes. So I can only imagine 18, 19, 20, 21 year old. But also, or the other way, I thought what they would do is they would put money into an account. And you would make like, however much money you made during your college experience. I thought that they would put that into the account. So if I had NIL deals where my freshman year I made $50,000, put that into the account. And that's waiting for me when I'm done with the institution. So either when I leave college, when I get drafted early, when I graduate, whenever I leave, whenever I'm done, whenever I say I'm done and I exhaust my eligibility, then I thought I would be given that. So then if it's, you know, I make a million my sophomore year, now I have a million and fifty thousand dollars and so on and so on. I thought that would be good because now everybody doesn't make it to the league. Everybody doesn't make it to the, you know, to the NFL. Everybody doesn't make it to the NBA. Everybody doesn't make it to the MLB, NHL and WNBA and the list goes on. So this gives you a nice sounding base. This gives you a nice, a nice platform to start on with your life, with your career. I thought that was the way to go about Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not, but I still like that as the best bet. Stack it in an account form. As soon as they say, hey, I'm done, I'm either entering the draft or I'm just done with college, hey, here's the money you made in your NIL while you were there. When you go to school, and you know, my girls are in college, uh, one, one's at college, one's coming up. So Lily's home for the summer. What is she going to do? She's going to work. Uh, she's going to caddy at Lockmore, and she's going to make as much money as she I possibly love can. Yep. Abby, on the other hand, she wants to go to Country Club of Detroit and be uh, a waitress or a bartender. I like she that wants, one better. She wants to make some money. My other little one, Maddie, she's a caddy. She's still in high school. 
What I'm trying to tell you is how much money did these kids think that they could make while they're in college? Yeah, not millions. You're already getting, and I don't want to sound like the old man. I'm not. Please, I'm don't not. Don't say it. I'm not. You're already getting your college education. Oh, my no. God. No. Cap it on $100,000 per person. $100,000 in college. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. And I love what you said, Braylon, yeah. about putting it away in an account. It, this millions of dollars, man. And you know what? We all know yeah. what's going to happen. Even if you give them 100000 each, Texas A&M is going to pay them on the side, and they're going to buy their parents a house and a tractor and all that. I know all of that. I don't like I the, think I'd rather have it that way, to be honest I, with you. I just don't like the cap because if I'm worth more, then pay me more. That's why I like you're more. You, you are, it does, it, 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 once you again, are worth what somebody yeah. is willing See, to pay See, once again, you. okay. you're, you're a kid, but if you tell Bryce Young that. Bryce Young He's got the kid. He also has the Heisman Trophy sitting in his living room. Or, excuse me, sitting in his dorm room. I know. He's got the Heisman Trophy. Hey. Will Anderson Jr. is a sophomore last year. He could have been the number one pick this year. So that's why I'm saying, like, put like put the money into the account and don't give it to them until they're done. Because you can't cap me at $100,000 and tell me this is all I'm worth when I win the Blitnikoff as a freshman like Jordan Anderson. Can I say? But you're an amateur. Doesn't matter. That, you're the, not a pro. But that no longer. Some applies. of these kids are making more than, let's just say, Taylor Lewan. Let's say Taylor right. Lewan's first contract. Some of these kids in Alabama are making more than him. No, nah, Taylor Lewan was like top ten. You know, okay, I gave the wrong name. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Can I just Joe say Blow. this? Can't can't all of these things be true? Right. Right. And and that is why it's called the wild wild west. Yeah. It's because out, it's out of control. Because nobody knows what to do. Nobody knows what the right thing to do is. We all believe. Most people. Most Americans believe. These college athletes should be paid, specifically in college football and in college basketball. But because the NCAA went so far overboard in nitpicking what parents could take your team yeah. Your, your teammates out to dinner without getting violations up the wazoo and suspensions and taking down banners. This is their mess. They created it, and now they have to lie in this poo. And it is poo. It is poop splattered all over. That's what college athletics has become. Now, I am not here to take money away from these kids. I will say, I think it is destroying and will destroy college athletics. I firmly believe that. But I also firmly believe if Ryan Armani, at 18 years old, somebody is willing to pay him a million dollars. What do I sign? I, you have to allow that to happen. What, I don't know what more then you can do. Then don't go to school. Go to the USFL then. Maybe. Play the, let the USFL pay. Can't, they only pay but but can't, the pay. They problem only is, pay can't 50, all of these you said, things be you true? You said white colleges pay? What are you talking about, man? Say it again. Why? You're an amateur athlete. Right. You shouldn't be making a million dollars. But you know how much money those amateur athletes make the institution? And I know you say, oh, well, they gave you a chance to be on TV. Oh, they gave you a chance to get a degree. Yeah, all that's true, but they also made way more money than you gave them. Like the standard degree at Michigan is, what, 150 over four years? Like 150000 You know what, what Shoelace made for the university when he was at Michigan? You know what Plexical Birds Look, I made? Look, back to the Fab Five. When you I, know, I, I'm not begrudging and, that. And that's what I'm saying. So when it gets to a point where you've oh, when you've made more than what they've given you, now you got to talk about, all right, and start paying. But they're and the business. And conversely, listen to me. They're the business. I understand, but listen to me. You you can't do that because in in my opinion and maybe some uh, we could get some legal advice here it would be illegal to cap what they can make because because w would you uh, cap um, I'll use my uh, my my fraternity brother would you cap Eric Lemieux <laughs> shout out to Eric Lemieux uh, my roommate one of my roommates at Michigan from going to work for McKinsey or one of these consulting firms if they're willing to pay them a hundred grand or five hundred yeah. grand or if you're starting your own business in, in Silicon Valley at Facebook when you're at Stanford or at Harvard yeah. or wherever you are are you capping a regular student's ability to make money no you can't so it's so hard to do and that is why it's called the wild wild west it because nobody knows what to do nobody can do anything about it 
But at the same time, it'll ruin the sport. But it also doesn't matter what you say. Even if you come up with a rule by the NCAA that says that you can cap, you know why it doesn't matter? Because there's already rules that exist by the NCAA that they've said. They said it is illegal to poach a kid. But guess what? We see that continuously. They say it is illegal when a kid comes on just a, a recruiting trip visit to have them sit down with a corporation, with a potential sponsor, with a potential NIL deal. But we know for a fact that Imani Bates, when he went to Memphis, he sat down with FedEx. So if the NCAA isn't going to uh, enforce the rules, it don't matter what we say. You can say, yeah, put a cap on it. But if they're not going to force it, then it doesn't matter.